how do you figure out what your macro levels should be? So macros being carbs, fats, and protein. Uh, well, you, you've talked about the way that we do it. What, so, so that's the first thing, right, is there's a lot of different ways to calculate that. When we started, we did 20% carbs, and we counted net carbs when we started. And then we did 70% uh, fat and the rest protein. That sounds, you mean 20% or 20 grams of carbs? 20 grams of carbs is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. 20 grams, 20 grams net of carbs. carbs. Yes, we counted net carbs when we started, and that worked. The key is if you're just getting started, just lowering your carbs is, is going to work. Because I remember feeling frustrated, and a lot of my members tell me I'm frustrated because I'm eating 50 grams of carbs a day. Right. And I say, okay, but are you losing weight? And they say, yes. So it's like, okay, what's well, okay? Stay there until you stop, and then let's figure out a way to drop it. But I'm a 210 pound male, six foot. How do I figure out what I should, how much I should be eating? You all, the other, here's the really easy, easy answer is you go to chronometer.com and you get a free account and you let the calculator there do it for you. I like chronometer because it has multiple levels of ketosis, so you can do strict, moderate, or I don't know what the word is, you know, like yeah. casual keto. You can change it, and you can even do custom, so you can actually manually change things. Chronometer's YouTube site has great tutorials on it, on how to use it on the phone, how to use it on the desktop. So that's how I always calculate macros. That's how I build meal plans. So I have a 30-day keto planner coming out here within the next week. that will be a digital download, so watch for that. But there's that's how I'm building the meal plans inside of that, that planner. Chronometer has a huge food database, and I love their calculator for the keto diet. There's a lot of other ones out there. I've heard mixed reviews. I'm sure that a lot of them are good. But Chronometer is kind of my gold standard. It's what Atkin uses for studies, McCola uses for mm -hmm. studies. It's just, it's used by well-respected people and supported, and it's constantly being developed. They actually had a, have a new fasting feature that I used for the 36-hour fast. So that's how I would calculate macros, is forget doing the math yourself and use a reputable online calculator. And not all of them are reputable, so find something that's proven, you know, that people are using, yeah. well-reviewed, you know, I mean, I think everybody knows how to do their research on good or bad apps. There's plenty. <laughs> you know, when people don't like an app, they review the crap out of it. Yeah. 